on a beautiful autumn day in stately Wayne Manor, our, uh, I don't really want to call him a hero, but, uh, he's, our, uh, flamboyantly spandex confidant is playing with Alfred's beloved Moffat past the time as Batman recovers from his hangover. <laughs> <laughs> Batman, you have to help me! He thinks I'm a weenie! Shut up, Robin! I'm trying to cure my hangover with these saline IVs Dr. Oz recommended! It's no use! After years of heroin abuse, my veins just shatter on impact! Batman, please! I can't, I can't do this much longer! Oh no! Robin, don't get blood on these curtains! I just bought those from the Triple B! Bed, bath, and be Oh no! Oh, 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 this is, this is bad, this is bad! We, we need an ambulance immediately! Oh! So I told my mom, I'm not paying for your car insurance while you're on hospice! This is 911, what is your emergency? What? We'll get right on that! What's your location? Move this to the top of the dispatch list! Stat! This way! Quickly! Well, there's still time! We've got multiple <laughs> contusions down the main spinal cord! Will she pull through? Only time will tell. Okay, I'll be at the hospital. Bye, Robin! Clear. Clear. Doctor, we lost her. <sighs> Time of death, 5.27 p.m. It's always sad to see the young ones go. Oh god, how am I gonna tell Alfred? Where is she? Where's my Swiffer Wet Jet starter kit? <gasps> Moppy! No! You're the best girlfriend a butler could ask for! I'm sorry to break it to you, old chum. Your girlfriend is dead. <laughs> Nurses! Restrain him! He's gone mad! In life, she picked up all the dust and dirt that was my heart. She quite literally swept me off my feet and... and made me a better man. And I... and I can't... <laughs> Oh, no, Moppy. <laughs> well, I'm too drunk to speak. Get up there and say something. So beautiful. <laughs> you know, I, I know it's been a while, but the hole she left in my heart has caused me to feel so... Unproductive lately. Lazy, even. I just- I don't feel as active as I once was. You can relate, right? Yep. Ooh, this dump smells like homemade formaldehyde! Alfred is definitely here. Oh no, got a blast! So, this is where you've been for the past three weeks, huh? Trying to drown your sorrows in the bottom of a liquor bottle. <laughs> Can't say I haven't shared that sentiment. Just like middle school all over again. It's just so hard being here. Well, I can tell you where you haven't been. The Bat Cave. Doing your job. Surely you can find a replacement. Ha! <laughs> Believe me, Alfred, I've tried. And let me tell you what, there ain't a Mexican on God's green earth that can labor like a pack mule as good as you can. I'm flattered, sir, but every morning I wake up and I expect her to be there, laying in bed right next to me, and, uh... When I see that she isn't, I just- I, I don't feel like there's any point in going on anymore. Oh, pfft. You're still hung up on that old hag? I know what your problem is, buddy. We need to get you some fresh meat, okay? Ever heard of Tinder? So, your profile said you were in the Star Wars films. What was that like? <sighs> Silent treatment again, I see. Well, if you excuse me, I'm going to go wash up. Oh, I'm so stupid. I should have never asked if you wanted to split the bill. Looks like another lonely night for you, Alfred.
Oi, vey! God, what, the, what, what, what did I do? I'd like to know what a filthy chutzpah is doing in the women's restroom. I'm in the women's loo. Wait, so you mean to, you mean to tell me that wasn't a urinal? Are you blind? Well, yes, actually. I lost both of my eyes in the Great American-Canadian-Cuban War of 1936. My eyes are just leftover Christmas ornaments. Oh, a veteran, I see. Well, my apologies. The name's Ant, by the way. Aunt May. My approved alias for this month is Alfred Saucy Boy Pennyworth. I am deeply sorry for walking in on your feminine place of worship, madam. To make up for it, I can uh, give you a ride. Home. Oh, why? I wouldn't have it any other way. And that's why I'll never order cuttlefish on an airplane ever again. <laughs> I'm sure there was a lot of scrubbing involved. Those slippery sea cucumbers put me on the no-fly list. <laughs> I can't purchase firearms. <laughs> Legally, at least. Oh, Alfred, you're quite the gentleman. But I've got to ask, how are you able to drive while blind? Very carefully. I navigate by the amount of screams I hear from the children I run over. It's basically echolocation. Ah, should be almost home now. <laughs> oh, Alfie, you're quite the charmer. I wouldn't mind going out with you again sometime. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what I'm doing. You see, I just got out of a pretty serious relationship, and I'm, I'm just, I'm not sure if I'm ready yet. Ah, uh, it's all right. I know the feeling. Don't worry, we can go at whatever pace you feel comfortable. Thank you, I appreciate that. And don't get me wrong, I really do like you. It's just, with my current emotional state, I'm just not sure if I'm ready for a relationship right now. It's very important that we don't rush things. Guess who's getting married? Ah, what? Drek on a puts! Whatever are you doing? I've been trying to find a vein that actually pumps blood for over a month now, but this is, this is the worst hangover ever! <laughs> oh, God. But enough about me, what about you? Aw, oh, May, why did you leave me alone at Cafe Salmonella in the middle of dinner? I had to pay for the bill myself. You know that's not the lifestyle our people are about. Wait, Spider-Man, this is your aunt? Aw, oh, May, is this creepy old guy trying to kidnap you? That was a bit premature. Listen here, you filthy little goy. That is no way to treat your future uncle. Wait, you guys are getting married? Congratulations. Well, uh, a wedding sounds expensive. What shuffleboard alley are you gonna have to rob to pay for it? Well, that's the thing. You have Wayne Enterprises, don't you? Well, actually, I sold all my shares in Wayne Enterprises to uh, Vladimir Putin and his comrades to help pay for more alpacas for the alpaca farm! <laughs> Wasn't that your parents' billion-dollar company that you inherited after their tragic deaths? Ha! <laughs> yeah. Regardless, we don't have to worry about paying for the wedding because it already is. With your credit card. Yo, what? <laughs> Loser. Zay shittle, Peter! I had to send you into a massive hole of debt to pay for the honeymoon! My shekels! Wait, hold up now, geezers. Are you even legally allowed to do that? Fortunately, like responsible adults, we paid it all off ahead of time with a wedding planner that won't give refunds as long as we finish the ceremony. <laughs> well, anyway, the wedding's happening this Sunday. Now, if you excuse us, we're off to play a premarital game of Twister! Oi vey! <laughs> Shut up, Robin! All right, so we need to come up with a plan. I think I have an idea. Hello, good sirs. I have a proposition to make. Wait, uh, how did you get my Skype? We want you four to bamboozle the wedding between Alfred Pennyworth and Mae Parker. Wait, why? Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, we just got to Bora Bora. We'd have to cancel our flight and reschedule last minute. Can't you guys just take care of it yourselves? Oh, we can pay for your flight. So you'd rather pay thousands of dollars in travel expenses and risk being arrested for bamboozlement than just pay for your butler's wedding? As long as you verbally acknowledge the plot hole, it's not a plot hole. <laughs> Shut up, cripple.
come on, Alfred, you've got this, you've got this! Although you've never married a woman, this ain't your first time at the rodeo. Everything's gonna be fine. Unless, of course, you're having second thoughts. Well, I mean, no, I, I don't think so. I mean, there's a big commitment. If you don't feel comfortable with it, then we should definitely 100% not go through with this. Well, I mean, I will be with her the rest of my life. See, maybe this is a bad idea after all. But then again, my kidneys are probably going to collapse soon, so eh, screw it. <sighs> well, so much for that. Initiate plan B. Hey, that's quite a fancy walkie-talkie you got there. Hey, thanks, man. I got it at Radio Shack. You know, we used to have those back in Vietnam. Oh, yeah, I remember that episode. I killed the man with fun. I oh, oh. Wait a minute. Who are you exactly? Why, I'm Hanukkah Harry, the best rabbi this side of Jerusalem. Your fiancé booked me because us Jews need to stick together, you see. Oh, well, I guess that's fine. I also spun her dreidel at the bachelorette party, if you know, <laughs> in the long sense. <laughs> <laughs> you did what now? All right, now who's ready for the best Hebrew national celebration since the Sabbath of 1973? Bring out the Isha. We gather here today to join these two boy checks in kosher matrimony. Oh my god, what the f? Oh, oh, oh. Glad to see you're all having a blast. Batman. Dude, what the heck? What, what just happened? We used suicide vests. Suicide vests? It was very effective. No, no, dude, what? No, I, I never said to do this. You said to bamboozle the wedding. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I want you to actually blow people up. What did you? How, how did, what, what? Why did you even do this? I like to spice it up sometimes, man. Plus, it worked, didn't it? You should be thanking us. Oh well, I mean, yeah, of course I appreciate it, but it's just yeah, now I'm gonna have another lawsuit on my hands, and it's just it's not not really what I wanted to deal with right now. I'm so busy with so many other things. Just thanks, guys. You're welcome. Wait a minute, those are villains. I bet they're behind this. Let us show them we mean business through the glorious power of unadulterated violence. Wait a minute. You didn't tell us the heroes were going to be hurt. Ah! ah, yes. Wedding bamboozled. What is it, Spider-Man? Batman, I've got bad news. They're still getting married in the middle of the fight. And now, the bride and groom have a few words to share. What? I vow to love and support you, through sickness and through health, till death do we part. As long as you stay in the kitchen. And I vow to stay in the kitchen. All right, good enough for me. The heroes are setting up a defensive perimeter around the altar. I'll try to break through, but we don't have much time. Batman? Batman? Meanwhile, in the chat. Oh, oh god! Oh, oh god! Does anyone oh. object to this marriage? If so, speak now or forever hold your peace. I object. <gasps> Moppy? Oh, Papa Elfie. I thought you were dead! As did I. However, I survived the dreadful encounter with my assailant over there. Sorry. With Back Alley Modern Medicine's greatest achievement, duct tape. <coughs> I'm still recovering, however. I will tend to your wounds if they take a millennial to heal. <laughs> you know, as a man of the Torah, I can see when a lovely woman like yourself should not go unsullied. <laughs> That's the sweetest thing I have ever heard. Wanna go get some latkes? I want some of your latkes! Oh, yeah. Give it to me, sugar latke, baby. Yeah, I'll just uh, be in the car.
I don't know, Batman. This whole thing just seems a bit unnecessary to me. I mean, 12 people died just because you didn't want to pay for a wedding. Shut up and remove this man's teeth! We need to mutilate these bodies past the point of recognition so the cops can't track us. <laughs> oh, classic Batman. Batman.